What's up guys? I don't know what I'm gonna call today's show, but I just kind of wanted to mention something that really got my attention in the last couple of days, and that's Kurt Sajek, it's really hard to say their name, but basically they're uh, this philosophy channel that does stuff in a nutshell. Um, they combine science and philosophy, which are two things that I am huge about, which you should know if you have watched me for a little bit on this channel. But what really kind of got my attention and drew me to them originally is this video that's blowing up right now. Um, it's called Optimistic Nihilism. It just released. Human existence is scary and confusing. A few hundred thousand years ago, we became conscious and found ourselves in a strange place. This particular video ended up kind of demonstrating my personal philosophy almost to a T, which is just crazy. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm actually a nihilist. Um, in, and basically what that means, and this is like a weird thing to talk about on YouTube because people will kind of roast you if you're not one way or the other and you kind of just try to be as neutral as possible. But the reality is I'm a nihilist, so I don't believe in the fact or this idea that you know, the universe has a purpose, there's a reason for me being here, any of that kind of fucking shit where I have this design purpose. I have a reason for being here. I don't believe that. Personally, I feel like the whole point of me being here is to define my own purpose and reason for being here and to make myself valuable, to make myself define my own value and define why I'm here. And basically to that end, that is how I live my life. This is why I started YouTube. This is why I went to film school. This is why I work in film is because I really enjoy this idea of freedom. And basically the nutshell kind of video just encapsulated everything that I love about it. It kind of goes over how a lot of videos that are philosophical in nature tend to fill people and especially on their channel tend to fill people with this existential dread feeling. Our videos induce existential dread in many people, and the last few minutes probably haven't helped. So this feeling where they feel like nothing means anything, nothing matters, there's no reason for them to continue being in general. And I have to say that's a real uh, typical response to this idea of nihilism or existentialism or absurdism. And generally people are saying, that if there's no real purpose, there's nothing of an end game, then what's the point of even trying? And, you know, I understand why people feel that way, but to be honest, I've never really taken it that direction. I know a lot of people think I'm very negative when I mention that I don't believe there's a purpose to anything. Everything is open. There's an absolute freedom to it. But, I mean, I feel like I don't necessarily express it in the right way because Nihilism basically means that nothing means anything, everything will eventually evaporate and be completely meaningless by the end of creation or existence or whatever. And I think that gives us a very unique sense of freedom, um, which, I mean, they actually touched on a little bit in their video by saying that if nothing matters, then why not have a kick-ass good time while you're still here? You have this ability to actually experience. and. I mean, I feel like that is the greatest, I guess, gift you could ever really have is this absolute freedom to do literally anything. Because when nothing matters, when you don't have a specific purpose, a reason for being itself, that means that that whole idea is open for interpretation. You can completely define it. There's not any set, okay, well, you know, something, designates you to have to be a doctor in your life. That is your calling. That is your reason for being. If you do anything else, you are wrong. You will not succeed. That is not what this is about. It's basically, if you want to be a doctor, you can totally do that. You can achieve it. You can be anything that you put your mind to and you basically put the capacity towards. Then you realize, okay, maybe doctor is not what I want to do later in life. Okay, so you switch your career choice to something that suits your feelings at the time. That's totally possible with this idea of nihilism because it doesn't matter what you do, it's still completely your decision. That is the freedom, that is, that is this idea of radical freedom that anything is possible, that you can do whatever you want and it doesn't matter because it's entirely up to you up to your physical capacity, there is no limit. And I think that is beautiful. 
Um, and I know I've just kind of been ranting about this for a little bit, but you guys have to understand, I mean, to be able to so strongly identify with a video like this is it, absolutely moving for me. It kind of hits me to my core. And honestly, that doesn't happen a lot anymore because, I mean, I feel like a lot of things that people put so much weight on and so much focus on as these tenets of being a person that are so powerful and meaningful to other people, they don't have the same weight to me. I feel like I value different things in most people. And to be honest, to be able to resonate with this video really kind of struck me. It was really cool. And I think you guys should check it out if you guys want a kind of mind-blowing new perspective to observe things in and to think about because the reality is you know you have every capacity you don't have to watch the video but you totally can it is completely up to you and with that said guys i mean i just, <laughs> I, I don't know what to tell you man i'm just i'm elated that i could find a video like this that so strongly kind of encapsulates this idea and you know going further into it you know i was going to do a video on what optimistic nihilism really is because you know there's not a, a specific term for optimistic nihilism in philosophy there's only a couple of different interpretations from nihilism so nihilism in philosophy is like this idea that nothing matters the world is without meaning objectively there is no reason to exist or not exist and based on that the world doesn't care about you the universe is completely fine without you it's fine with you it doesn't matter and to kind of deal with that sort of existential dread normally people go to two different options two different routes and that is usually absurdism which is essentially this idea that they will persist in their ideological beliefs and thoughts and, and generally the system that they grew up in despite the fact that nothing matters, there is no purpose to anything and the world is without any real cause. Now the reason this is really interesting is because it, it still has an acknowledgement of this idea that nothing matters but at the same time it says I don't care, I don't care that nothing means anything. I will essentially find my own way to define it. Whatever I think matters is what matters because that's my perception and my perspective. And that is really interesting because it's very similar to the other interpretation which is existentialism. And what existentialism basically is, is this idea of whatever I perceive is what is because anything else is completely irrelevant and subjective. So an existentialist if it doesn't perceive something or they don't perceive something, it isn't. It just does not exist. They're within a closed system is where their interpretation is. But that's because outside of their own personal realm, nothing really affects them. Nothing really is anything. And honestly, I, I love talking about this stuff because it's such an interesting way to look at the world and realize that there are drastically different interpretations and ways that you could go about living life. Now, as far as where optimistic nihilism kind of goes, hey look, it's a doggy. But anyway, as far as where optimistic nihilism sort of falls in which or whatever category, it's actually kind of both, to be honest, but it does definitely kind of uh, tend towards um, existentialism in that it doesn't try to ignore the absolute truth that nothing matters. It just kind of says, who cares? Let's have a good time. Um, and I realize I don't know if I necessarily explained it the best. Um, a lot of people say existentialism is probably where that would go. Um, from my understanding though, I mean, I know I just said existentialism technically is where uh, positive nihilism would go, but I think personally absurdism is a little bit closer to what that is. I mean myself personally I'm an existentialist in that I'm an optimistic nihilist. I think that this is just an interesting way to look at it that dis despite 
you know, the reality I'm going to continue to be and enjoy life. And, and yeah, so anyway guys, that's just my thoughts kind of spewed out in video form. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, let me know. Comment down below, like this video, subscribe for more videos like this because I'll be doing more kind of just off the top of my head, mostly unedited um, kind of videos about just my thoughts and philosophy in general and, or um, ideas behind characters or whatever. Like th this kind of Thursday video is going to be pretty up in the air as to what's actually going on and what I'm doing and stuff like that just because I'm not entirely sure where I want to go with it yet. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Splice night out and I will talk to you guys later. Cheers.